Hi folks, and welcome back to Folklore Gaming, where it's all fun and games. So welcome back to episode 16 of Fake Love, True Love. So let's hop right into it. The last episode, we realized that uh, Kava is a horrible, horrible liar. Ugh, ads. Hold on. So yes, we found out that Carver was still a horrible liar, um, but Mike was probably scammed and probably murdered by Ethan Marsher? I don't know. Speaking of killing, I'm going to kill Carver. Wait for him to come into the hallway and ambush him. Barge into his room and demand answers. None of these options are good. Um... I mean, if you're already outside of his door... I mean, but you don't want to get into his bad side. You're going to still do bad anyway, which is worse. Barge into his room and demand answers. Wait for him to come to the hallway. You know what? Let's just, just go out. Let's just barge into his room. I'm going in. Oh, okay, great. Maya? Couldn't wait for me, huh? I guess we can take it to my room. You haven't seen it yet, have you? Leave him on and then attack? Sure. No, attack now. Yeah, let's attack now. <laughs> Come on. Did she? Oh, okay. I guess she slapped him. Maya, what the heck? What the heck? That's exactly what I should be asking you. What do you mean? What did I do? Don't play dumb, Carver. I heard what you told Molly. You were using me again. I told you not to play with my feelings. I told you I would meet my end of the deal, but I will co not continue to be strung along like some mindless little puppet. You have no right to play with my feelings like that. It wasn't my call, Maya. Huh? I do care about you. It's just if you cared about me, then why did you still pretend to care after the dinner? If you cared, you wouldn't try to trick me into sleeping with you. Come on, Maya. Don't be so uptight. With the paparazzi and this deal on the line, it's not like I can like I can just have women coming in and out of my mansion. And sometimes you just gotta get the urge out of your system, you know? Yeah, Maya's just an itch that you had to scratch, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why can't we just help each other out? So you basically just wanted to use me for a booty call because it's too risky to screw other women. Is that so wrong? You'll get something out of it too, you know. Wow. Trust me, you'll be begging for more after one time. You're disgusting. Oh, now I'm disgusting. Just a few minutes ago, you were ready to jump all over me. You should be grateful I even want to touch you. <laughs> Whoa, what's with all the yelling? Hey, Steph. Maybe you should both calm down. This doesn't concern you, Stephanie. I was just worried. You were just being nosy, you mean. <coughs> yeah, don't talk to Stephanie like that. That's rude. I pay her. I can talk to her however the heck I want. Of course, Carver Stimson can do whatever he wants to whoever he wants. The mat, the matter of us don't care. I guess maybe I have some kind of reading problem. <coughs> My throat's so dry. Um... The rest of us don't matter. Now you're catching on. He thinks he can control me and I won't fight back. Let's see what he thinks if I go clubbing with Stephanie. Why I want to go clubbing with Stephanie. <sighs> Stephanie, you can leave now. I'm not finished talking to Maya, but I'm finished talking to you. Excuse me. You heard me. I'm done talking to you. I have nothing else to say to you. You can't just, what are you going to do? Kick me out, Carver? Kick me out into the street? The press would love that, wouldn't they? Mm hmm. I don't want anything to do with you right now. Let's go, Stephanie. Snap, snap. I'm s sorry, Mr. Stinson. You ruined it. Stephanie's going to get fired. Nope, and there's no shame on his face, so I ruined it. I'm going to be murdered like tonight. The nerve of him. You really did believe he cared. Such tears, such sadness. You thought? Hey, Maya, I just wanted to check on you. Oh, thank you. Mm, yeah, I shouldn't have screamed at her like that. Do you want to talk about what happened? Meh. 
Oh, she does? Okay. As tears stream down, you tell Ebony, F- St- Ebony? I feel like Stephanie might be in on this. I wouldn't feel so bad if you would just have been honest with me, but the way he did it was just so dirty. I'm sorry, Maya. Stephanie, has Carver ever loved anybody before? Love is a foreign word to Carver. But, but use words like lust, sex, screw, use? Now that he understands. But what about Melanie? Did he ever care about her? <laughs> hmm. He cared about what she did for his career. They were the perfect Hollywood power couple. Melanie cared for Carver, but Carver was just a lost cause. Oh, so Melanie cared for Carver. You deserve better, Maya. Do I? Because I can't get Carver out of my head. <coughs> I need water. Um, all the memories we have together. All of the time we used to spend together. Carver was different when we were kids. I thought he liked me then. Why? Was he nice back then? Oh, huh? I thought you liked... You thought, okay, I don't get... Maybe I didn't read that right. Sometimes, we used to ride our bikes to the park together and just hang out. He liked to push me off the swings and kick me a lot. That's that's not nice. Now that I think about it, he was a lot like he is now. Yeah. Sometimes he was really thoughtful, and other times he was mean. Sometimes downright cruel. If he was mean, what made you think he liked you? Well, that's what boys do when they like a girl. It's not. And the way Carver used to treat me, no. What? Maybe Carver likes you, but abusive behavior is not a healthy way to express attraction. Yes, of course it's not. Oh, here we go. Boys will be boys, right? And how's that working for you now? If he really cared about you, he wouldn't purposely do things that hurt you. What if it's just, what if he's just too scared to show his true feelings? I can change him. I can bring out the best in him. All right. So you just try to change him now. All right. So do you really believe? Do you really believe that? No. No. <coughs> Maybe you're right. But that doesn't mean I don't want it to be true. Even after you played with your feelings again? Two whole times, Shadi. Wait, don't cry, Maya. Why not? I have nowhere to go. Even if I did, I'm tied to fulfilling my obligation if I don't want to get killed. I'm stuck here, whether Carver wants me or not. But only temporarily. Temporarily? Yeah. Once the movie deal is signed and Carver stops filming, he won't need your relationship anymore. He'll be free as a bird. But I still won't have money or a job. What am I supposed to do after that? Did you forget you're about to sing a duet with one of the hottest pop stars in Hollywood? career if you can get another label to sign you you'll have made it do you really think a label would want me why not you have the status the hot ex-boyfriend the boy labels will be clawing each other's eyes out to get to sign you you won't need cover after that so what do you think i can do this who needs carver uh yeah sounds like a plan who needs cover anyway (laughs) <laughs> Stephanie's in on it. She's gotta be. She's gotta be plotting to murder me. You look as exhausted as I feel. I am, but I don't think I, get, I can get much sleep tonight. I can't stop thinking about how close I was to being happy with Garver tonight. If only I hadn't her- overheard that phone call. Then you would have just been used and hurt even more. What? You just, oh, sorry. I thought she was kissing her. I was really confused. Um, You deserve better, Maya. You deserve to be with somebody who will make you happy. And when you're finally free from this fake relationship, you will find that person. I was like, wait, no. Um, Thank you, Stephanie. You've always been a good friend to me. A good friend, yeah. Good night, Maya. Okay, so she probably is betraying me. Good night. She's gotta be. Is it me or Stephanie acting strange? Can't worry about that now. Need sleep. Yeah, now's the perfect time to worry about that. I'm so upset about Carver. I don't know if I can sleep. He has to care. He has to care about me. I've seen it before. He's just scared, right? Uh, no, you're just retarded. You stay awake for what seems like hours. Your mind is full of the drama that's happened in the past few days. Until finally... The pillow erupts. Huh? Oh, is this her dream? Okay. What the heck is going on? It's got to be a dream. You have a, you have a shot at a singing career. 
Okay. I was like, why did I fade into a pillow? If you can get another label to sign you, you'll have made it. Yeah, let her believe. Do you really think a label would want me? Oh my God, look at all the people. You'll have the status. The hot ex-boyfriend, the voice. Okay, can we can we move past this? Like what? What's the dealio? The hot looks. Labels will be clawing. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So you're definitely dreaming. You won't need cover after that. Yeah, and you could sleep with Mike uh, again, the one who's in the hospital. What was that? Was that a fake gunshot? Okay. Yeah, it was. It was, it was. Mike! Uh, Wait, it was a dream. Except Mike really did get hurt. And Carver told Molly he thinks it was Ethan Mathers. Mathers? Mathers? Am I saying Mathers? Um, I was so wrapped up in Carver, I almost forgot. I need to figure out what's going on. I need to check on Mike. It's only 3 a.m. Maybe it's too early to text him. What if Carmela is with him? Yeah, what if Carmela's with him? Um, yeah, wait until later, because it's too risky. You're going to die. Is that Mike? Hey, Maya, are you awake? Ugh, it's Dave. <clears throat> Is he serious? Should I ignore him or tell him off? Let's, let's tell him off. Time to send this butthole a message to leave me alone once and for all. What do I want to say to him? Um, mini bow beanie. Yeah, that'll that'll teach him. Yeah, mini bow beanie. What a butt! What did I ever see in him in the first place? First Dave, now Carver. I really know how to pick him, huh? I need to try and get more sleep. I have a feeling I'm going. <clears throat> I'm going to have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. Of murder. Meanie Bobini playing hard to get, huh? She wants me back. Why wouldn't she? What if she's dating a pop star? I'm her first love, right? Dave, what the heck are you doing in here? Oh, yeah, he rolls his eyes because she's pregnant. It's the bathroom. I'm going to go to the bathroom. You've been in there for a long time. Um, I'm kind of clogged up. Just give me a minute. What if Maya texts back? I should put you on a diet. You haven't, you shouldn't be having any issues. I put you on a diet. Okay. Can I just have some space? Space? <clears throat> I don't feel like fighting tonight. Just a minute, honey. Coming right out. She doesn't look pregnant. I'm hoping that Dave can find the picture that Alicia has and send it to me and delete it off of Alicia's phone. Honey, you don't call me unless you're up to something. Maybe I call you... Oh, you don't call me honey unless you're up to something. Maybe I call you honey because I love you. Don't try to sweet talk me, Dave. What are you up to? Up to? Me? Babe? Why would you even think that? Don't you trust me? Let's see. It was really easy for me to steal you from your girlfriend. So no, I don't trust you. Do we have to go through this again? It's her, isn't it? What? What's who? Don't play Done with me. You've been pining over Maya since she left. <clears throat> but I thought you loved me. You told me you couldn't wait for me to have our child. That's before you started gaining weight. Oh, wow, you're a dick. Um, Alicia, baby, come on. Why are you always picking a fight with me? I'm not yes, you are. She looks so mad. Look, I don't want to fight again. Let's just go to bed. Man, they're really having a really bad time. I know he's still in love with Maya. Just wait until I get you, Maya. Nobody will ever want you again. What else? I mean, all you have is that incriminating photo. The next morning. Those are cute pajamas. I could barely sleep. I'm exhausted. I guess I should try Mike now. I got another text message. It better not be from Dave. Is it from Alicia? Molly. Maya, meet me downstairs in 30 minutes. We have plans. What type of plans? I don't know if I can face Carver right now. Or Molly, for that fact. After all, it sounded like she knew that Carver was playing with my feelings. 
<sighs> How am I going to do this? I guess I better get dressed. Let's see what you're going to wear. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Look at this. These outfit ideas are cute. Okay. I take that back. These outfit ideas are different. Not so much cute. Why do they keep putting me in those shoes? Those are church shoes. Uh, I don't want them. Bless you. <laughs> this is this is cute, even though these are those are still church shoes. Um, sexy rocker chick. No, no. I really like the black, but I want to see what the other options are. Whoa, casual dresses and skirts. Uh, edgy. Edgy casual. Nah. I'm sorry, this is taking so long. I'm going to probably want to go through every single one of these outfits. Beautiful blue. Red lace. Oh, these are all ones that I've gone through already. Draped black. Nope, that one kind of looks like a trash bag. Ocean blue. No, no. I'm not going anywhere formal. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put on... Where was it? It was in... Nightlife, the sophisticated black, because I like it. And wear this ready. Um, would I want to change my hair and makeup? No, I don't want to change my hair and makeup. I look fine the way I, I yeah. Because it's going to be basically the same thing, but maybe... It's not like I change anything drastically. Where's the other strap? Let's get this over with. Her phone is ringing. Mike, I wanted to check on you. Are you out of the hospital yet? But why are you calling me? I was getting ready to meet Molly and see if she finds... Whoa, Maya. Slow down. I'm okay. Just a little banged up. I was released from the hospital early this morning, but you have to listen to me. Somebody else tried to kill me. It wasn't Milton. I overheard Carver and Molly. He thinks it was Ethan Mathers. So you know about him? Know about Ethan? All I know is that he's after the role... Or after Carver's role in that movie. <sighs> But I don't get it. Why can't Milton just take him out? Why would he go after you? It isn't that simple, Maya. There's more. I thought you told me everything already. Mike, what else is there to know? <sighs> Mike, why aren't you answering me? What else is there to know? What are you? What aren't you telling me? Calm down, Maya. I'm trying to tell you now. Over the phone, guys? Okay, I'm listening. Ethan is a ri- uh, That's what I said. He's part of either part of the mob or a rival one. Ethan is in a rival mob. That's why Milton can't just take him out. Oh, R.I.P. What? You didn't tell me that. Tell me this when we met. Oh, I see. Keep your voice down. Aunt Maya, you're out of control. Ethan's mob must be after the same deal Mint Milton wants. That means you're in more danger than we thought, Maya. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. More danger. And can you ever forgive Carver for trying to trick you into sleeping with him? <laughs> that guy. Anyway, find out in the next chapter. Alrighty, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And consider subscribing for more videos every single day. Bye, guys.